Here we've got the Camus 30CT, starting at 400,000. Average sale is 519,000. Boat show price is 425,000. So let's take a look and see. This is actually a catamaran. When you come up in here, Camus is really nice, really nice boat. I'm not sure if those are V8 300s, I think, is what it looks like. Twin Verado 300 V8s. Got our live wall back here in the middle of the transom. Kind of, not sure what this is. Open this thing up and see. So you got another well there. And then over here, another well in there. Tackle center on the back. Got a cooler that slides out. Tackle center there. Nice cushion. Looks like you can pull this out and be a seat here. I like how this like table comes out. That is very nice. More spot up here for doing stuff. If you have a second station, you can climb right up there. There's the door to get up to the top. Lots of space down the gunnels of the boat and the dash is like ridiculously nice. That is super clean. We've got this wood grain down the middle where the control box is, trim tab controllers, the vessel view right there in the middle, the Optimus system right there, probably the autopilot. We've got twin Garmin's right next to each other and these acrylic plates with push button controls for all of the gauges. You've got digital battery switches or electronic battery switches right there. We've got three little bolsters that you know slide down, slide up. Very nice. I like the Camus logo in the top with the gray and the black. That looks really, really good. Coming around the bow here, you've got really open bow, lots of storage and space up here, anchor and all that stuff. And then you've also got this nice area to lay out down in here. Gonna have some nice storage, all that. You could probably use that fish box, I guess. Close that up and then come over here Take a look in the console. Really clean. There's no head on the boat, but I'm sure you could put one in here if you wanted one. Here's all your breakers and stuff. I like that. That is really nice. So all those breakers and all that in that closed container. I do like that. There's somebody's food there that was there, but I do like how those breakers and everything is inside the console of this boat. Got the Camus 26 HB, so there's like a bay boat, 164,000 at the boat show. Average savings of about 14,000, 24,000 at the show. Coming up in here, looks like this one has got a VA Mercury 300 on the back of it. Really open all around the back, normal. I like how everything flips up. You got a seat here that'll flip up. Cooler seat, tackle center right there, so you know you can Flip that down and prep while you're sitting here on the way out, wherever you're going, wherever you're fishing. Coming into the console here, you've got tons of switches, push buttons. I like how everything's labeled. Really, really nice on the dash of this. GPS right here, more switches there. Seats are very, it's nice because it's, it's skinny. So it leaves you a lot of room in between the gunnel and the leaning post. So I like that, very nice there. Coming around the front of the boat, really open, tons of seating still, even though it's got this big platform up in the front. So of course you want a bay boat style to get out there and be able to fish off of the front of the boat, but still have all of this cushions and seating and everything. So if you are entertaining, you know, you've got all this seating and area for people to be on the boat, unless you're, you know, if you're going out fishing, you can take all that stuff off. See right here, I'm guessing this is probably like a little cooler area down in there. So really, really nice. Here we got the Camus 34 CT, boat show price of 543,000. Average sale price, 652,000. Coming up in it to this boat. I mean, they've got this thing loaded out. Looks phenomenal. I love the GPS's back here in the back. Got the tackle centers right here. Again, one of my favorite things, you can pull this out, a prepping station. Really, really nice, all the rod holders holding everything and the sunshade on the top. So the shades the back back here, looking around the gunnels, plenty of room back here. Live well back here in the middle of the gunnel. We've got twin Mercury V10s. I'm not sure 350s or 400s, but I'm sure this thing flies. Look at all the space in between the gunnels and the center console. A lot of space, a lot of room, 
Really like that. Two captain's chairs right here in the console or in the helm. Lots of space right here. Store stuff. We've got cup holders in between the two. I love this blacked out steering wheel with the blacked out speed wheel. And I do like this dash here. All the push buttons for controlling everything in the boat. Both of our GPSs right here, you can see them. Again, I really like having these back here so you can put, you know, radar, your depth, whatever you want, like, you know, your sonar out back here so you can see it while you're back here. Then when we come through the console here, take a look into the console. Tons of storage right there. Got a head, all the breakers right there. Really nice. There's more switches, key switches. I like how that is set up in there. In the front, this thing is decked out with Rock, Rockford Fosgate. So I'm sure this thing is ridiculously loud. It looks like you got seats that'll pull out from the side right here. And then another seat that will pull out from over there. Seat right there, two loungers with the armrests. Looking down into here, tons of room, tons of stuff in there. Really, really nice. Tons of rod holders, tons of space for everything. I do, I'm not sure if there's electric reels up under the gunnels, but I'm sure there are. Your wash down hoses are there on the gunnels. Looking at the Camus 401cc, looks like it's normally about just over a mil. At the boat show, you can get it for 824,000. I like this blue color that it's got. Huge, massive boat. Looks like we've got triple Yamaha XTO offshore, probably 450s. Coming up into the boat here. I like the side doors that you got here. They fold in. Get the ladder set up right there on the side. Tons of seating right here. Fit two, three people really comfortably. I don't know if this flips up into, nope, nothing. Two coolers back here in the back. We got two live wells in the back of the transom. Are they combined? Nope, they are separate, so that's real nice. I like how the, the transom is completely closed off, so that way you don't have you know, door there, I don't really like the door. The dash looks phenomenal. We got these flush mounted Garmin's. I don't know where these are like, sit, probably like 20, somewhere around there. I do like this center wood grain with the Garmin in the middle. Yamaha Hellmaster EX control box. We got the joystick. Looks like you got full maneuverability with Yamaha. So you got the um, autopilot, you got the steer hold, you got the, the um, Heading hold, course hold, track point, all of your switches here, really slick. There's your battery switches, push buttons, all push button controls for everything on the boat. Again, flush mounted, looks really, really nice. Big fan of that. These massive three seats here, all kinds of tackle storage right there. Got some more storage down in here with charges, so you can charge your phone, all that kind of stuff in there. Everything's really well lit up, tons of room up in between the console and the gunnels, go up here to the front. Got these back backrests right here, so you can sit up here very comfortably, two people on the way back in. Um, charge your phone up in there, power. You got power on both sides, so that's really nice. Cup holders on both. I like the wood grain accents, that looks really, really clean. They got the lip here, so that way you can put stuff in there and it won't slide out as you're going across the waves. Big, huge lounge right here for Two people with the cup holders in between. Nice little cooler area right here. Kind of put whatever you want in there. And then I'm sure these sides ones will pop up as well. Go ahead and take a look inside of the console here. In the cabin, looks like we've got a nice bed area right here. Sleep two people very comfortably, if not more. We've got a little refrigerator right there. Um, yep, that's it on there. And then the head, got the head right there. We've got the sink. And we have set a hook or a shower. No, nope, it's the hook. So don't see a shower in there. All of your controls and panels in there. Really, really nice. Now we're looking at the Camus 341cc. Looks like it's normally around 633,000. Boat show is just under 500,000. I like the dark blue all on the back. It's really, really clean. This thing's actually got triple Mercury Verado 300s. V8s coming around back up here. We'll climb up in the boat and take a look. How you doing? Sorry. Got a nice live well here in the back. We've also got 
another well on this side. Those are actually locked, so I'm not going to open those. But seat right here, door to get in and out the side, cooler that pulls out. One of those things that I keep talking about I really like is that this comes out so you can use that as prep station, tackle centers. Um, cooler comes out so you can sit here comfortably. We got rod holders all up the top and an access to the top if you put a tower on it. Looks like we got plenty of room in between the gunnels and the console and the actual helm station itself. Really clean, all white. I love all the switches that they have on the boats. Really, really nice. Big fan of that. Garments, all mounted nice. I like the brown accents and the logo. Looks really good with the brown. It's classic, it's clean. I like the textured in the middle. So big fan of that. Coming to the front, seats that pop out on the sides of the gunnels. Open bow other than that, so plenty of room to fish. And then looking back here at the leaning post, you got a lounger here, cooler underneath there, and compartment for storage. Taking a look inside of the console here. Let's see what we got. Inside the console, we got toilet, or head, sink, and again, all of your breakers. I'm a big fan of this. I like how clean that looks and having the access there when you pull that panel. So having access to work on stuff is pretty big in my book. Got the 281 HB Camus, 323,000 normally. Got boat show price of 279,000. Got twin Mercury Verado V8 300s. I like the ladder on the back. Everybody knows I'm a big fan of the four rung. That fourth rung makes a big difference getting in and out of the boat when you're in water that you're swimming in. Seat folds down all this room back here to run around and fish off of. Probably got a couple of live wells here in the back. Got a tackle center here on the back of the leaning post. Not really tackle center, but probably just like a prep station. Nope, yeah, tackle, tackle storage. Place to hold your knife right in the middle. That's pretty sweet. Up here on the top, we got a tea bag. Hold all the life jackets and all that. Here we've got really clean dash, normal console or switching for Camus. Acrylic panel all etched out with all the buttons and everything. Garmin's flush mounted. Got your radio down in here. Key switches there. I liked how the this is all indented. So when you're walking back and forth, you're not like bumping your knee on the key and messing that up. So big fan of that, having that indented. Leaning post for two people, two bolster seats that will come down. And the back backrest right here. Seating all the way around makes it really nice for entertaining, but you can put it all down and take it all out for going out and actually using it as a bay boat for fishing. Got a nice Minn Kota Altera on the front and a massive, I mean, this is a really, really big bow. Plenty of room all the way around the boat. Really, really nice.